Professor David Azul from the University of Surrey in England. I'm an environmental psychologist. I think we're pretty convinced now from all the work of the IPCC that climate change is due to human activity. The scientific evidence is really overwhelming. Climate change is complicated, there's no doubt about that. I think added to that, people probably not very interested. They've got other things on their mind. Unemployment, where do their children go to school, their health and so on and so forth. So it's got to be made meaningful to people. They've got to be able to understand um, all its implications and so on and so forth. I, I think of it in, I think of four, four aspects to it, which I call pickle, P-I-C-L. It has to be made personal, immediate, concrete, and local. Personal, you've got to explain to people the implications of climate change for them, for their lives, for their families, for their neighbours, and so on. It's got to be immediate. It's got to be, this is not something in the future that's going to be happening in 20, 30, 40 years' time. We hear a lot about setting of targets, and people think, oh, well, the target is 2050. They can sort that out then. It's going to be too late then, of course. It's got to be concrete. We've got to... Too often climate change is discussed in very abstract terms. We've got to make it very physical, very concrete, very imageable for people so they can really understand what it means. And local, we tend to think of it, and we've done research on this, people tend to think of climate change as affecting other people, other countries. And it, it happens in the global south, where we hear that, about the storms, the floods, and so on and so forth. We've got to make sure that people understand it. No, it's happening here. It's happening in your local community. Climate scientists often talk about mitigation and adaptation. You know, mitigation is about how can we pre prevent, in the first place, the conditions that are leading to climate change. And then adaptation is, OK, it's going to happen. We're pretty sure about that. How do we respond? How can we protect ourselves against some of the worst consequences? I think as well, what I would say, when I said, when I talked about understanding, I put it in a very individualistic kind of way, as if it was just you or me. I think we have to also understand about society as a whole. It raises questions about what kind of society do we want? You know, what, what are our values as a society? Can we, can we look for constant growth? for example, and what does growth mean? Um, because that has all sorts of questions spinning out from that. What will we know when people actually understand climate change? Well, I guess we'll know when people start to do things differently. Maybe they won't fly so often to the Mediterranean, or they won't buy four by four cars. You know, they will start to lead more sustainable lives. And I guess, for me as a psychology, that, that's, that's quite an important issue in a way. Because one of the things that I, I talk about is that, you know, what people say they do and want to do is often very, very different from what they actually do in practice. There's a lot of evidence that people say they, they will do things to reduce their carbon footprint. But when it comes down to it, for all very, very good reasons, they don't. So it's when they do that I think we'll start to know that it's having an impact.